Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Friday. Faith Friday here today with you. Sun's shining. It's May. Turn the calendar on another month. We made it through now a, a full month, uh, the month of April here with quarantine. We're still doing well. Uh, still keeping the faith here. So got a couple of just reminders that we've been repeating all week. Uh, and then just kind of a, a faith thought to leave you with today on a Friday. Uh, so let's get started with our morning routine here. We had our prayer and our pledge. And again, just some brief announcements. Morning prayer for today. Putting our strength and our, our hope in God here. So if you would join me in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh God, thou art my hope and my strength. A very present help in trouble. Grant me faith and courage that I may not fear though the earth be moved and the hills carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters thereof rage and swell and the mountains shake at the tempest of same. O be in the midst of my soul that I may not be moved but may still, may be still and know that thou art God. Amen. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Now, if you would join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Right. Get our video going here. Hope everyone's doing well. Got a glare coming in here pretty good. <laughs> it's all right. We'll take it after the last couple days in the rain. This seemed like, it's what would seem like endless rain here. Um, just another reminder we do have the prize drawing today for the walkathon. Uh, guys, hopefully, you've been able to set up your GoFundMe accounts here. Um, again, can't highlight enough how much of a crucial fundraising effort this is. Um, and how much work has gone into it. So thank you to, to Mr. Stimler, um, Ms. Mankey, Mr. Filippo for putting some of the stuff together, like the cool graphic you see down there at the bottom, um, instructions and all the discussions that we've had, you know, PLC level, um, you know, 18 teachers, faculty, staff, I mean, everybody, this is kind of like a joint effort here, and it's really cool um, to kind of be a part of it in, in this format. Okay, guys, you should be have your GoFundMe account set up. Um, we did have a little bit of a delay with them yesterday and the day before, uh, but we're, we think we got it all figured out now. So we'll see um, if anyone has any more trouble, please contact your studio advisor today. Good luck to everybody. Thank you to our donors again. Just some other end of the year notes that we covered uh, yesterday. Um, again, grading, everything counts. We did release the end of the year dates to you at the beginning of the week. Um, seniors are done with e-learning on May 15th. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors are done May 22nd. Um, we talked about not hosting traditional final exams for trimester three, that in fact the uh, grade for the 12-week period for all the work that you have done uh, would count in place of that traditional final grade. Clean out and drop off schedules will be coming. We do have a plan in place. Um, and everybody will be assigned a short 15 minute, 10 minute, 20 minute time window somewhere in there. Uh, and that will be your time to come on down to school, bring anything back that might be ours, uh, and then also pick anything up from your lockers, both academic and your athletic lockers. Okay. Uh, so stay tuned to that. Don't forget to try to continue to think about your courtyard designs. Take part in that pretty cool groundbreaking effort for us here and transform uh, the alumni courtyard there into something spectacular. I'd like to have as much student involvement in that as possible. Um, so good luck, guys. Get your designs in. Keep taking a look at those college commitments on social media here. Um, again, they just keep rolling in. Um, and we had Aaron up there uh, yesterday, I believe, with Augustana. Um, took part in one of our signing days earlier in the year. Uh, you know, just some great accomplishments happening out there for the guys. And 
I want to continue to wish them well uh, moving forward with whatever they do and wherever they're going. Friday means it's time for lights for the fight. Uh, we'll continue to honor those first responders, uh, you know, anybody involved in, in the healthcare uh, arena. Um, you know, so continue to send uh, you know pictures and, and things in that we can do to honor them. Um, we're glad that more and more people are joining the, the fight here um, for this. It's a little little glimmer of hope. Uh, you know, it's really cool to kind of see the stillness of the stadium, but then to see um, the lights lighting it up for everybody. And, and um, I, I know how much it's appreciated from everybody else, and it's definitely appreciated here for me. Um, so continue to keep those in your prayers as well and celebrate with us today, 8 o'clock. And then lastly today, just an idea for some Faith Fridays, you know, something to, to we don't have, you know, officially learning today. Um, we're getting ready for the weekend. Um, we started these a little while back and just want to continue them a little bit with just a thought, something that maybe came to me during the week or, or something someone suggested to me uh, in, throughout the course of the week and um, have had a lot of great conversations this week. Um, a lot of productive ones, a lot of ones that are very constructive. Um, a lot of forward thinking in terms of what are we going to do next year and, you know, planning and, and everything else. And, and that's been great. And, you know, it's really kind of shifted my focus a little bit and, and, and alerted me to keep holding firm um, and, and keep strong my beliefs. Um, you know, we offer up prayers every day to Our Lady of Mount Carmel and, and, you know, God, and we see great things happen every day. We hear about them. Yeah, we face our challenges. We're gonna, whether we were here or not. Um, you know, we talked about how, how much of the stress and, and the fatigue that everybody's feeling is a cause of this, um, which is a hundred percent true. Um, but it's also May in a school is nothing short of insane. There's so many moving parts. There's so many things to do. So even when we're trying to do all these things, either virtually or in small groups and, you know, we're, we're having some other, uh, some different restaurants and businesses may start to reopen in a little bit. And, you know, even just that, we're trying to process all this conflicting information. Um, you know, I, I know, especially for maybe for Indiana or Illinois residents, hearing the, the differences back and forth, depending on where, where you may work, that's tough. Um, you know, don't forget to, to sort of hold firm in that. Remember our why. Um, you know, why are we doing it? Even down to the very littlest thing, why are, why are we doing it? Have that sense of purpose um, and understand where that purpose comes from. It comes from our faith. It comes from our belief in something bigger and, and powerful and stronger than us. Um, and then just a little reminder that I've had throughout the week on um, the last couple is, you know, let, let's just control what we can. Um, and, and God's got the rest for us. So kind of keeping those things in mind, you know, I wish you the very best Friday you could have um, in this situation. Uh, weather should be good, so maybe we can get outside and, and just take a little deep breath, uh, fresh air, get off for a walk, do something today. Enjoy some time off. You know, unplug, disconnect, whatever you can do. Um, and then we'll see you right back here on Monday. Uh, so stay strong, everybody. Hopefully you turn it in tonight for Lights on the Fight um, and go get them this weekend, whatever you're doing. We'll see you back here Monday.